Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond Stonders. Good morning and welcome to Banff. This is not our normal spot, we are parked uh, not very far away from the historical Scotland Duff House, which we thought was open this weekend and turns out it's not open until February. So we came in anyway, um, just to do a recce of what the place is like. This is uh, all new to us, we've never been to this part of Banff before, sorry, the path a bit steep. Um, so I thought we'd come and have a look. We arrived last night after our standard fish and chips at Cullen. Um, we weren't sure if we were actually going to get to Banff in time to go to the fish and chip shop. So it's easier just to use the one in Cullen. And the boy racers were out last night. Um, we were all parked in the other car park near the house and the rugby field. So they were making a bit of a nuisance on themselves but then Obviously it must have been past their bedtime because they all disappeared. There's snowdrops on the ground. They're not quite open yet, but they are opening. It's always nice to see them. Oh, there we go, there's some that are open. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, folks, but we'll try. Here you go, look, snowdrops. And today is 27. It says there's forestry working around, but there seems to be an awful lot of old trees down. So I'm not sure if they were down because they need to clear space, or if they had to chop them down because of the storms we've had. I don't know, but there is a lot of them down. And here we're going past the golf course. So we're quite close to Banff itself, well the town centre of Banff. Um, JP, there's more shops here than there is in Cullen. So, yeah. It's a bit monkey underfoot, but that's because of the amount of rain and snow we've had recently. But it is only January. So. We had a great weekend last weekend with JP, Sammy and Raven. Uh, had a good old wander around the shops in Cullen. I've never actually done all the shops in Cullen before because it's not as much fun when you're on your own. It certainly made a good dent in the shops last weekend. It was lovely to meet them and looking forward to when we see them again. That's a strange place for that. It's a grave stone. What a weird place to find it in the middle of the forest. Okay. There are some very old gnarly trees around here. There 
there's a signpost saying beware uh, you get very close to the River Devon so watch what you're doing yeah so I think our visit to Huntley proved that point oh, the gold ball getting banked some of the trees that look like they've fallen have got some kind of rot. I'm not really sure. Tree felling in progress. Okay. Mausoleum that way. Um, we know that there's a mausoleum. David tells me there's a nice house, but whether or not we get there is another matter. Oh, I can smell wood burning. I can smell smoke. Uh, we've been watching youngsters playing rugby and I do mean youngsters they look like they're about five or six, maybe seven they're only little um, they've been taught the rules of rugby and then a bigger group over to the side obviously still learning the techniques, but uh, Six Nations is nearly upon us. So. It's a fine morning to be out. Oh, I think I should have put my hat on. Hello, Mr. Robin. Mrs. Robin. I'm a very flipping sure where you lot. Oh, don't move. Camera shy Robins. I hear you. Ha. I'm not sure if David will pick that up or not. It's not raining, the sun's out, but it is kind of cold, so and yet again there's more snowdrops. The first sign of spring coming. I always love watching the snowdrops. I should imagine when they're all out, this is all just going to turn white. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to switch off for a while. When we get to the mausoleum, I'll switch you back on again. So, we made it to the mausoleum. This is on the outside, which seems a bit weird and it's not protected so I'm surprised the detail is as good as it is but I've got no idea how old it is because I can't read Latin but the detail that you can actually see if I can get down is actually quite amazing you've got an obligatory skull of a massive great big cross and the detail on surrounding the actual arches is amazing I wonder what it looked like when it was new I'm sure it was a lot 
easier to distinguish then. So I don't know who this is. Like I said, can't read Latin. It's a little piece of history. There is a sign. There's no glass in the windows. Oh, the windows look beautiful. For the shape of them. But I'm, sure, I'm not sure if it would have been stained glass or just plain glass. I'm sure it would have been probably stained. Fife Mausoleum at Duff House. The mausoleum was built in 1790 by James Duff, the second Earl of Fife, but contains earlier memorials and burials, which the Earl brought to the monument from elsewhere in an attempt to establish the antiquity of his family. The details of the ironwork and one of the grand JF and the coronet. I did have a look at the gate when I came to start off with, but I thought I'd show you guys too. It is just beautiful. Obviously it's all locked up, as a respect. I don't even know if you can actually get in here when Duff House is open and sorry I'm going to have to switch off a minute because these steps are flipping high and this is all you can see it's in a bit of a sorry state inside actually obviously there's no glass protecting the building all sorts is going to get inside it's so sad when you see things in this state. There we go. Right. I'm going to switch off again because I've got to now fight back down these steps. That wasn't fun. So, I've gone past the mausoleum and I went down the road. Lots of people on it, but they've all disappeared. But there was a flipping great big puddle across the path. Um, two roads, no idea which one was going where, so I took the Lindsay option and decided to turn back. I have no idea where the ice house is, but I can't imagine it would be this far away from the actual house. So I found a mausoleum, so. I'm quite happy with that. But well, it's a nice day to be out and about. And like I said, I've never been on this path before. And the phones in the van being charged up because the battery's going down somewhat. I didn't read or look at the maps before I left. Uh, what's the fun in that? Wouldn't make any difference, I'd still get lost. Like I said, it's kind of squidgy underfoot. It's this winter. I'd rather have it squidgy than frozen. Although there's about as much chance of me falling on my backside in the squidge as there is in the ice. Although I'm trying very hard not to. So. I'm not sure when this video is going out, whether it's before we go on our longer holiday or when we're on it or after it. I've no idea. 
but we have I think maybe four, three weeks. I'm not really sure. I think it's three weeks Thursday. And we're on holiday. The factory's on holiday for a week and a day. And I'm on holiday for two weeks and a day. Because I've got holidays and I have to take them. We don't have to take them, I just don't want to lose them. So we're planning. Oh, it's a blue tit. How are you? You're not at all bothered by me, are you? All the little finches and tits are all beginning to segregate in their own groups again. So far I've seen blackbirds, crows, I've heard a woodpecker, possibly two. And robins and their blue tits. And I think long tail tits by the noise they were making. Well, you couldn't really see them because of the bushes. But by golly, you could hear them. See? You can see through the trees, possibly. That's the mausoleum there. So we're going to head back and see what we can see on the way back. We're still in the planning stages of where we're going. Uh, it's the last week in February, the first week in March. Of course, it's all weather dependent. But we'll see. It is. It's always part of the fun trying to work out where we're going and what we're going to see. And of course, Lindsay usually throws a spanner and walks by saying, Oh, I'd like to see this. And it's nowhere near any of the places we're supposed to be going. Hey. It is what it is. I went down that path, I'm going to stay on this road, I think, and see where it takes me. And it says there's forestry work in progress, but Possibly not on a Saturday. But like I said before, there's an awful lot of trees down. There you go. One last look at the mosque. Sorry, the sun's in your mausoleum. In your eyes. But I'm not complaining because I don't see it enough. Not this time of year. And Desmond's going into the garage on Wednesday for its MOT. Fingers crossed that it has some wishes and we get it back because I'd like to get things sorted before we go on holiday. That's why we put it in early. It's not actually due until the day we go on holiday, so it's not a risk I'm willing to take. Fingers crossed for Desmond. Obviously, like I said, we might be on all of you by the time this comes out. I don't know. I can't really get a good view of the river from here without blinding you all with the very weak Scottish winter sun. I'm not complaining. So, 
as this looks like it's going to be pretty mundane and boring on the way back apart from squidgy feet and large puddles hopefully not um, I'll say goodbye and thank you for watching if I find a white the ice house I will put you back on again but to be honest I've got no idea where it is the signpost said mausoleum they did not say ice house but I can't see a reason why the ice house would be so far away from the main house and the main house is the other side of the uh, rugby field I might take a walk round there and see what I can actually see even though the house is closed gives us a chance and an excuse to come back but what do you think isn't that just gorgeous I just hope it's not dead I love trees I love being in the most woods Again, thank you for sticking with us thank you if you've just joined us I hope you'll stick around and see what we get up to and take care of get outside go make memories and enjoy the outdoors because honestly you don't know what you're missing it is just a lovely day so we'll see you again soon take care all no sooner had I switched you off then the woodpecker started I think there's two of them because there's definitely two different noises I think they're tapping on different trees and then I came round the corner corner? or oh, something you need to put your teeth in um, and lo and behold I found the ice house so I'm feeling rather tough with myself I think I'm going to have to change hands because this looks kind of steep and kind of slippy so bear with if you're a bit wonky it's because I am too proves I was right in one thing the mausoleum's further away than the ice house from the big house that's it very focals are a wonderful thing guys until you actually try and go down steps and then you're looking through the reading part of your glasses which sometimes is not such a brilliant idea so here we go. Sorry, this is going to get kind of dark very quickly. This is the ice house. Oh boy, that's deep. And it's also full of crap. Can you see down there? Oh, must have taken some building. Duff house, ice house. I'm going to switch off a sec because I want to take some pictures. Mission accomplished. I've seen the mausoleum and I have now seen the ice house. Oh, there's people coming. Let's get out their way. Like I said, it's a bit steep and a bit squidgy, but that's it. Uh, somebody's been trying to feed the birds, I think. But they're not having it. It is a very nice place to come for a walk. Obviously, lots of history. 
and lots of lovely trees and a lot of trees that have been felled for one reason or another that's up to the council and well, I assume it's the council seeing as there's council bins here it's a lovely place for a walk Wait. You hear it? <laughs> Got you. I hope the camera picks that up. It's quite far away from where I'm at. Hello. Cold tip. Hi goodness, we're doing well on the birds today. I'll get back to David and say, I've seen this, I've yep, got it, seen this, yep, got it, seen this, yep, got it. <laughs> I'll just keep going this way. So, again, thank you for coming with us. I'm glad I found the ice house. Seems to be various designs and shapes and sizes of ice houses, like everything else. But I'll say cheerio for now. Take care, folks, and we'll catch you the next time. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donders. And whatever you're doing in the countryside, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of our future videos.